this is Gaurav. Currently, I am studying in Rishwil Law College, Mumbai. I am in fourth year, and my uh, current practice areas are arbitration and IPR. So, I am planning to make up my career in arbitration and IPR litigation. Experience in the previous internships that was too uh, extensive to the arbitration and IPR only. In the litigation field only, I have done three internships in IPR and arbitration. Out of which, the experience which I gained was immense, was immensely valuable for me. And now, since I am pursuing this course of IPR, the value of getting knowledge from this course is extremely helping me to uh, further further provide value to the law firms where I'm interning. Things which I learned from the list, the list is, it's not, it's exhaustive. So the, basically what I have learned is that when uh, some of the clients have approached me for the uh, trademark inquiries and I, I was able to help them with the experience which I gained, gained from the Law Seco course. And that's how it shaped my career and it's shaping my career now. Clients call me for the inquiry regarding the registration of trademark and uh, the further proceedings regarding the litigation. So uh, I don't have any doubt regarding the what to initiate for what is the next step to, to prosecute the to prosecute for the trademark registration and all. So these are the things I got it from the LOSICO course which provided me the... Uh, I learned it from the LOSICO assignments which provides every, every week. The overall experience was quite good because now I'm interning with a firm they call WS Kane in Mumbai virtually. So it's a completely IPI based firm. So now I'm able to help my seniors. Otherwise, I was not able to before three months ago. Now I can help them with the ultimate experience of uh, drafting these, uh, drafting the notices, CJ and digits notice, and any further proceedings regarding the litigation. Last thing I would like to say that you need to keep the momentum up. Like you have to every week you get the assignment. You need to you need to be committed by it yourself. And that's it. You should be committed what by what the assignment is given to you and submit it timely. So that keeps your momentum up.